Tonight, in a Culture Show special, we have exclusive access to one of the world's most enigmatic bands, Sigur Ross. You may not know their name, but you'll almost certainly have heard their music. The band were one of the highlights of this year's Electric Proms, where they not only played live, but also premiered their first ever film. It is truly heartening to see a band that's as independently minded as Sigur Ross headlining at something as high profile as the BBC Electric Proms. But the more I hear this band's music, the more intrigued I become about these four musicians. And I feel the only way to get to know something more about their music is to go and meet them on home territory. So I'm off to Iceland. It's the opening night at the Reykjavik Film Festival, where Sigur Rós's stunning new film, Hema, meaning Homeland, has its international premiere. Hema follows the band as they perform free, unannounced concerts in far-flung Icelandic destinations. It says as much about the band and their music as about the people and their country. Iceland rests on the edge of the Arctic Circle, stuck out on its own in the North Atlantic. Its population is only the size of a London suburb, so the feeling of space here is immense. Sigur Rós's music is as changeable as this dramatic Icelandic weather. They take tiny musical fragments and then go on vast musical journeys. And I can't help but feel, walking through this landscape, that this is surely where they're finding their inspiration. How important is Iceland to your music? I think it's, it's important. It's such a crazy nature, so raw and energetic and powerful, and, but you know, beautiful, peaceful, and at the same time, there's still like so, so many opposites, like everywhere. Which is, I suppose, why people do make that analogy with yeah, your music, because yeah. you've got those extremes as well, haven't you? You know. Much of Iceland is made up of huge, barren stretches of mossy land. The sense of isolation here must bring a certain amount of artistic freedom. The creativity definitely comes from this, this isolation. I think the, the people just feel the need to, to create something, painting, writing a book, or, which sort of can be annoying sometimes, especially you know, these days, because if you're not doing something, you, you're nobody, you know, in a way, which is a really bad attitude, I think, in Iceland. Mm. Wow, you're not writing a book? <laughs> you 